how to capture a web page as a PDF. The first thing you'll need to do is open up a Chromium browser such as Google Chrome, the Brave browser or Microsoft Edge. Currently I have the Brave browser open so I'm just going to magnify it real quickly here and then once you're here you want to navigate to the following URL address https colon slash slash chrome dot google dot com slash web store slash category slash extensions. I'll put this link in the video description below and once you're on this web page the first thing you'll need to do is navigate to the top left hand corner here and left click on the search box. You'll then want to type the following take web page screenshots as so and then hit enter. Once you've done that, you'll get a bunch of extensions here. We're going to be selecting the first option here, which is by Fireshot, and it's called Take Web Page Screenshots Entirely. Once you've located it, just left click on it. Once you're on this page, you'll have the option to add this extension to your browser. If you look on the top right hand corner here, it should say Add To, and then the type of browser that you're using. So I'm using Brave, so it says Add to Brave. Left click on this big blue button here to add the extension to your browser. You'll then get this message here that says Brave has not reviewed this extension for security and safety. Only install this extension if you trust the developer. This developer is fine. It has over 2 million users and almost 30,000 reviews at the recording of this video. So just left click on Add Extension to add this extension to your browser. The extension will then begin downloading and installing onto your browser. Alright guys, once the extension has been installed, another tab will open which will say congratulations, Fireshot Lite installed, meaning that the extension has been added to your browser. The first thing I recommend doing once you've installed Fireshot is to pin it to your browser. To do this, you'll need to navigate to the top right hand corner here and left click on this jigsaw icon to bring up your extensions. Once you've done that, locate the Fireshot extension, which is here. All you need to do is left click on this pin extension icon. And once you've done that, if you look on the top right hand corner here, you should see that the Fireshot icon has been pinned to your browser. All right guys, let's save our first web page as a PDF. So I'm just going to left click on this middle tab here and this will take us to my YouTube homepage. And now we want to capture this web page and save it as a PDF. All you need to do is navigate to the top right hand corner here to the Fireshot icon, left click on it and then you'll have a number of options here. The first option is to capture entire page, second option is to capture visible part and the third option is to capture a selection. We're going to be capturing the entire page. Make sure when you are capturing an entire web page that you have scrolled all the way to the top of the web page. Alright guys, so I'm just going to left click on capture entire page here. Fireshot will then begin capturing the entire web page. Once Fireshot has completed capturing a screenshot, another tab will open like so. And I'm just going to navigate down here just to show you that it has captured the entire web page here. And now you'll have two options to save your screenshot as. The first option is to save your screenshot as an image. And the next option is to save your screenshot or your captured web page as a PDF. And this is the option that we're going to do here. So all you need to do is left click on save to PDF. I'm just going to left click on it now. A notification will then pop up on your screen by Fireshot. That will require you to give Fireshot permission to manage your downloads. All you need to do is left click on allow. And then the file explorer window will open giving you an opportunity to choose the file path for your PDF. As you can see by default it will automatically be in your downloads and by installing Fireshot an automatic folder will have been generated in your downloads. So I'm happy with the current location selected for me by Fireshot. However I am not happy with the file name and I'm just going to change that real quickly. I'm just going to call it Websplaining YouTube Channel. Once you've picked your file name, all you need to do is left click on save and then your web page will be saved as a PDF. Let's view this PDF file now by left clicking on this arrow here and then clicking show in folder. And as you can see, this is the file path location of the PDF. And now to view this PDF file, all we need to do is double click on it. Alright guys, that pretty much concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so